Hi, everybody. Welcome to a quickie with Miss B. Today is Wednesday. All this week, we're talking about the random things that make you laugh. <laughs> and as always, thank you for joining us. It's greatly appreciated. I don't know why you keep coming back, but we're glad you do. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a train wreck that can't look away. <laughs> I feel sorry for these two, but I'm going to listen tomorrow to see what they get themselves into next. I know. <laughs> And I still don't get very many comments. I want the emails. <laughs> Somebody email her. Quickie with Miss B. Gmail.com. Uh-huh. Anyways, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, funny stories. <laughs> yep. Kate, <laughs> I got a funny one for you. <laughs> Oh, enlighten us, please. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <clears throat> we're at this bar one particular evening on the weekend, and uh, everybody's there having a good time, pretty happy atmosphere, lots of... So, we're noticing this uh, uh, group of people at this other table, and there was one woman there that uh, she was drinking pretty fast and furious. <laughs> So well, it's down, a was she? hard to be feeling good, shall we say. <laughs> so <clears throat> about halfway through the night, got to go to the bathroom. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I went to the women's bathroom <laughs> like you should. But this gal decided to go to the men's bathroom. <laughs> really? She walked into the men's bathroom Went to the toilet, <laughs> used it, <laughs> and started and got done with her business and then started walking out of the men's bathroom as she's finishing to, you know, adjust her pants. <laughs> them up. <laughs> and we're witnessing this because, you know, the bathrooms are right next to each other. You see people coming and going to the bathroom all the time. You don't think anything of it unless you see a woman coming out of a guy's bathroom. <laughs> That's a moment. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just kind of floored. And um, I'm watching her. You know, I'm looking at her like, I can't believe this just happened. And, of course, you know, in her drunken stupor, she's like, what? What are you looking at? <laughs> And I'm like, but the women's bathroom's over here. Did you see how long that damn line was? She goes, I'm not standing there. <laughs> I went to the guy's bathroom and had a pee, she said. <laughs> Rather loudly. <laughs> I, I saw I heard this. <laughs> I saw a lady do that once and she looks at me and goes, It's the same toilet. I said, as long as it's not hanging on the wall, yes, it is the same toilet. But if it's hanging on the wall, it's not the same toilet. Do you know why I said that to her? Because she popped a squat on the one on the wall. She, no, she, wa she walks She walks right in and looks at it and goes, oh, my God, that's awesome. And just leans up against it and goes... I know why you guys love these now. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, there are few places in the world that are about as dirty as what you just leaned on. Are you kidding me? Guys, shoot. And we don't even want to use one of those sometimes because they're that foul. You just sat on it. She backed up to it, Christine. She backed up to it, Christine, and she sat down. And she was hammered. She was hammered, too. And I went, I can't believe that. She goes, they're all the same toilets. And I went, yes, you are correct. As long as they're not hanging on the wall. Yes, they are the same. That one's hanging on the wall. Not the same. There are few places on the planet as dirty as that. Even though it's a giant hole in a wall. <laughs> For some reason, every guy on the oh, planet no. misses. <laughs> when they use that one, they're just going there to get the facility. They're, they're just hoping, hey, I'll just about do it. You just sat on that. 
<laughs> you backed up to it and had a sit down. Oh, man. <laughs> the things that just splashed upon you are not, not <laughs> of this world. <laughs> then I looked at her and said, you're going to get a date for sure. <laughs> was there other people in the bathroom besides yeah, you? Yeah, there was a few of us. <laughs> The funny thing is, you should see these guys in a line in the bathroom, and all three urinals are empty. Why? Because they're covered in every unimaginable thing on the planet, and there's puddles underneath them. From all the there and about guys that walk up and go, huh? Oh, you're like, dude, you're facing the wrong way. <laughs> oh, oh, well, I mean, when they walk up to those things, they, it's pretty much try to hit the wall. <laughs> She just tromps right through the puddle, dropped them, <laughs> dropped them. Oh, God. Backed up and just had herself a seat and proceeded to look me right dead in the eye and go, nah, I don't know why you guys love these so much. No. <laughs> no. No, miss, we don't love them. That's why we're over here in the line. See, we're in this line because... We don't love them. <laughs> the only thing worse than that are the famous troughs in Maine. She must have got all kinds of crap all over her pants. Well, let's just say she dropped both of them and they went to the ground. <gasps> Ishkabibbles! Now, I did tell you about the puddle, right? There you have it. Because when those things came up, I've never seen a girl pull her pants up and it splashed. <laughs> you saw a whole bunch of guys go. Hmm. <laughs> That's not something you normally would have a gal into the guy's bathroom. So all the guys look at her and go. Hmm. As her pants are down. That's generally not what happens. Oh my gosh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, she. Uh, that's why the last words I said to her were, "Yeah, you'll get a date." Yep. Oh, yeah. Every guy, every guy was pointing at her. You know it, going, "Don't go near her." She was in there with us. She was at the place we wouldn't go to, and she hopped in, all in. Oh, ish. On that note, I need to go make sure my jeans are clean in the wash. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. You're listening to Quickie with Miss B. If you missed the first half of the episode, you need to go back and check that out. And make sure that you're using the appropriate bathroom, no matter how drunk you get during the evening. <laughs> And, and if you're going to use the wrong one, at least make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> and ladies, those are not backup hoppers. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I don't oh. <laughs> We were there with you. The guys in the bathroom were going. <laughs> I mean, what? We're in a line to avoid all of like that, all of the whole, whatever that is over there. Even us the women all the time, the guys are dirty. Yeah. Well, we didn't go over there. We didn't go anywhere over in this area. She went over to that area, dropped everything, dropped it all, left zero to the imagination and then began to play a game of kerplunk with a urinal. <laughs> she went right up and goes, oh, oh, God, I know why you guys love these. Oh, well, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you could just imagine. <clears throat> 
I wanted to give her a bar of soap and a hose so bad. <laughs> Take these two things, go out back and stay there for a half hour at least. Because I don't know. It's just, there's all kinds of weird things that happen, I swear, right? <laughs> when you're in a bar. <laughs> you know, people, alcohol, you're mixing that whole thing up. It's just not a good combination. Well, the bathroom's fine for like the first hour, hour and a half. Yeah, but as, as, as you approach talk, one a one a.m., don't even think about going anywhere near <laughs> the things that have just happened in there are not of the na- uh, not of this world. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> People don't understand that that hole in the wall is is literally a there and about. At, at about one a.m., now it's just try to hit the wall. <laughs> yep. As long as you can hit the wall, we're in the vicinity. And then (laughs) to see someone after all that happened and all the evidence is right there, walk through that, (laughs) drop them both, and sit down on that. Oh, oh, yuck. (laughs) And then pull your britches up and notice you're soaking wet and then shaking your, oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> let's go on to another subject <laughs> that's like having eight guys walk in a room and pee on you i mean come on <laughs> that was just horrible oh. <laughs> oh. that that is officially a <clears throat> taking a funny story to the max because that is a gross funny story but wow <laughs> wow I'm sorry I brought up bathrooms. I'm going to bring up playing pool now. (laughs) I think that's what she was doing. (laughs) She thought it was a pool. (laughs) No. She she went in the deep end. (laughs) Not that kind of pool. (laughs) You know, with the cue ball and all the other balls. Are you a a a pool shark? Oh, my God. (laughs) Far from it. So <clears throat> we got together with some of our friends and we decided one evening we were going to go play pool and have a couple pitchers of beer or whatever. I'm like, okay, fine. So I go and we play pool. Now, where we were playing pool, there wasn't like a lot of room around the pool table. So you had to be very careful about how you used your stick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn to take a shot. <laughs> See, I'm not a pool shark. See, I don't even know like the right terminology for all this. So I go go up to the pool table. I'm looking. I'm going to take my shot. And as I take my stick and back it up to get the momentum of hitting the ball, there was a guy sitting behind me and he was kind of like up on his chair, up on the table, you know? Oh, no. Sitting there. But he kind of had his legs open. Oh, no. Did you whack a ball to get a ball? No. <laughs> Please tell me you called the pocket first. <laughs> Two balls, corner pocket, quack. My friend is screaming at me at this point. <laughs> yeah. It was not good. <laughs> I said, I'm really sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was, but can you imagine as you're trying to explain it? I was trying to shoot my balls. You did. You did. You, you did. You. No, I was trying to get my balls and mine. And mine. <laughs> That's what I said to my friend. I'm like, I'm really sorry. I go, all I was trying to do is hit my balls. And she goes, well, you hit his instead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, great, you're not helping. <laughs> Wrong table, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> not the table behind you. <laughs> Try to hit the balls on your table. <laughs> balls on your table. <laughs> not the one he's sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't even use the excuse that I had been drinking a lot because at that point in time, I really wasn't. <laughs> I was sober when I whacked your balls. So. <laughs> No guy wants to hear that from a girl who just smacked him with a pool cue. <laughs> what are you drunk? No, I was sober when I hit you with balls with this. Oh 
I don't remember if that ever came up in conversation. <laughs> I'm not much of a pool shark, really. Uh, really. <laughs> and on that note, I'm going to go practice my <laughs> game. Spotter, spotter, so you got two with that blast. <laughs> right. <laughs>